I have no idea what my intro is supposed to be like. <clears throat> What's a good intro? Howdy, howdy, everybody. <laughs> it's a stupid intro. Anyway, so what's the difference between platinum cure silicone and tin cure silicone? I hear this question a lot from new toy makers, and it's great that you're asking questions. My name is Derek, and I'm the owner, creator, and head silicone slinger here at Amavidi. All right, let's get technical for just a minute. First, let's talk about silicone. In really broad terms, uncured liquid silicone is just a bunch of molecules that are just floating around, basically. Once we add a catalyst, those molecules start linking up and forming really long chains. Those chains start cross-linking, kind of like a net. And it is that cross-linking that makes the silicone cure and become solid. There are two main ways that those cross-linkings start to happen, either through addition cure or condensation cure. Condensation cure uses the humidity in the air to create those cross-links. An example of this would be silicone caulking that you might put around your bathtub. Now, the only problem with that is this process creates alcohols or acetic acids, neither of which are body safe. On the other hand, addition cure uses a different process and is usually split between tin cure and platinum cure. In these, the catalyst is added to the silicone. Now that we know the basics, let's talk about those catalysts. Now first, tin cure silicones produce alcohols in the curing process. Again, not body safe. Finally, there's platinum cure silicone. Using platinum as the catalyst, we eliminate those alcohols and acids from being created in the curing process. There are no harmful byproducts created in the curing process, so it can be body safe. Notice I said can be body safe. While the process itself doesn't create any harmful byproducts, the purity of the silicone matters. That's why we only use materials that we are confident are body safe. SmoothOn has their EcoFlex and Dragon Skin Platinum Cure Silicones which are a great place to get started. I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.